Start of Revelation When he وسلم, reached 40 years of age, the light of prophethood was shining over him and Allah honoured him with his message on a Monday. His prophethood وسلم. Aisha anha said, The commencement of the divine revelation to Allah's Messenger وسلم, was in the form of two dreams in his sleep. He never had a dream, but it turned out to be true and clear as the bright daylight. Then he began to like seclusion. So he used to go into seclusion in the cave of Hira, where he used to worship Allah continuously for many nights before going back to his family to take the necessary provisions for the stay. He would come back to his wife Khadija again to take his provisions of food likewise, till one day he received the guidance whilst he was in the cave of Hira. An angel came to him and asked him to read. Allah's Messenger وسلم, replied, I do not know how to read. So the Prophet وسلم, added, Then the angel held me forcibly and pressed me till I felt distressed. Then he released me and again said to me, Read. And I replied, I do not know how to read. Thereupon he held me again and pressed me for a second time till I felt distressed. Then he released me and again said to me, Read. But again I replied, I do not know how to read. Thereupon he held me for a third time and pressed me till I got distressed. And then he released me and said, Read in the name of your Lord who has created all that exists. He has created man out of a clot. Read, and your Lord is most generous. Who has taught the writing by the pen, has taught man that which he knew not. Chapter number 96, ayat number 1 to 5. Then Allah's Messenger وسلم, returned with that experience, and his heart was pounding, till he came upon Khadija, his wife, and said, Cover me. They covered him, and when the state of fear was over, he relayed the story to Khadija and said, O oh Khadija, I was afraid for my life. Khadija said, Nay, but receive the good tidings. By Allah, Allah will never disgrace you. For by Allah, you have kept good relations with your kith and kin. Speak the truth, help the poor and the destitute. Treat your guests generously and assist those who are stricken with calamities. Khadija then took him to Waraka ibn Nawfal, the first cousin of Khadija. Waraka had converted to Christianity in pre-Islamic period, and he used to write Arabic and write of the gospel in Arabic as much as Allah wished for him to write. He was an old man, and he lost his eyesight. Khadija said to Waraka, O oh my cousin, listen to what your nephew is going to say. Waraka said, O oh my nephew, what have you seen? So the Prophet وسلم, described what he had seen. Waraka said, This is the same angel who used to be sent to Musa. I wish I were young and I could live up to the time when your people will drive you out. Allah's Messenger وسلم, asked, Will they really drive me out? Waraka said, Yes. For nobody bought the like of what you have bought but was treated with hostility. If I were to remain alive till your day, when you started preaching, then I would support you strongly. But a short while later, Waraka died, and the divine inspiration was paused for some time. The Prophet ﷺ said, While I was walking, all of a sudden I heard a voice from the sky. I looked up and I saw the same angel who visited me at the cave of Hira, sitting on a chair between the sky and the earth. I got afraid of him and came back home and said, Wrap me in blankets, wrap me in blankets. And then Allah revealed the following ayats from the Qur'an. O you, i.e. Muhammad, wrapped in garments, arise and warn the people against Allah's punishment until the fifth ayah, chapter number 74, ayat number 1 to 5. After this, the revelation started coming strongly, frequently and regularly. Stages of revelation. Number 1. Good true dreams. This was how the revelation started. And Aisha radiallahu anha said, the revelation came to Allah's Messenger in the form of good dreams, which came true like bright daylight. Number two, revealed directly to his heart. Sometimes the angel would come to him and reveal directly to his heart without the Prophet ﷺ seeing him. As he وسلم, said, the faithful spirit, meaning Jibreel, blew into my heart and informed me. Number three, angel in the form of a man. The Prophet وسلم, said, Sometimes the angel comes to me in the shape of a man and talks to me, and I understand and remember what he says. Sometimes the companions were present during this time. Number four, ringing bell. 
Allah's Messenger said, sometimes it is revealed like the ringing of a bell. This form of inspiration is the hardest of all, and then this state passes off, and I have grasped what is inspired. Aisha added, Verily, I saw the Prophet being inspired divinely on a very cold day and noticed the sweat dropping from his forehead as the inspiration was over. Had he been on his mount, it would kneel down to the ground whilst he was on it. Number five, angel in natural form. Sometimes the Prophet saw the angel in his natural form and receiving the revelation. This occurred twice, as Allah mentioned in Surah An Najm. Number six, inspiration from Allah. This is what Allah revealed directly to him وسلم, from above the seven heavens during the night of ascension, Laytul Mi'raj, such as the prayer and other than this. Number seven, speech of Allah. When Allah spoke to him وسلم, directly without an angel as a mediator, just as Allah spoke directly to Musa alayhi salam.